Hey guys, this is Mustang, that Zim Tech guy. If you're new to the channel, would really appreciate that subscribe. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please press the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, today we're talking about a very contentious issue. Are mobile service providers stealing our data? You have probably seen this scenario. Let's say you purchase your data and uh, within minutes of using it, that dreaded message comes, you've exhausted your data. Now, in this video, we'll find out. The test is actually quite simple. We'll purchase data from Net1 and data from Econet, because those are the lines that I have. And uh, we're going to use an app, uh, a data counter app on our phones to see exactly how much we're using up. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's uh, see if these mobile service providers are stealing our data. So, we will be using a dual SIM phone for the test. And the first step is to deactivate the net online and we will start testing the Econet data first. Right, so now it's 12.56 p.m. and we've just purchased 250 megabytes of data. And using our data counter widget app, we can verify that we have just used up 1.65 megabytes of data on the phone today, and we will subtract that from the final total. We start off by downloading the Candy Crush Saga game, which is about 93 megabytes of data. This should take a huge chunk from our data. Now, I've been attempting to check my data balance for the past few minutes with no success. Econet need to improve their network. Finally, I get to see how much data I've used up so far. With the notifications and Candy Crush Saga download, I'll say it's fair usage at the moment. Okay, so now it's 11 minutes past 1 p.m. I've received my first you've exhausted your data bundle notification SMS. At this point, I've hardly gone through a half of the data. And true to my word, I've just used up over 100 megabytes of data. It's those little things that make the Econet user experience terrible these days. Okay, so now it's 1.38 p.m. and it looks like I've exhausted the data which I bought about just an hour ago. Now, let's verify with the data counter widget app how much data we've consumed. Now, now it's saying we've used up 242 megabytes of data minus the 1.65 megabytes of data that was already used up We've only used up 241 megabytes of data and I guess Econet decided to keep the 9 megabytes to themselves. 
it will be interesting to see if this is a common occurrence on their data bundles. If you'd like me to test that out as well, just let me know in the comment section below. Now let's switch to Net1 and a quick look at our data counter widget app, we can verify that less than a kilobyte of data has been used up. So let's start off by doing a speed test. Now, I've just made a shocking discovery. After running the speed test app once, it gobbled up 42 megabytes of data. Essentially, if you run these tests five times, you will exhaust your 200 megabytes of data. So don't use this speed test app if you're on a budget. Now it's 303 and we've just gone through 75 megabytes of data. Now it's 9.37 in the evening and we have just gone through 294 megabytes of data. At this point it doesn't make sense because we purchased 250 megabytes of data. Clearly Net1 offers more. Now we're not sure if this is deliberate or not. Finally it's 11.17 pm and I've finally exhausted the Net1 data bundle. And once again, checking the data counter widget app, we can verify that we've used up 310 megabytes of data, clearly way more than we purchased. So in conclusion, we can safely say Econet are not giving customers the full 250 megabytes in this case. Now we will now 
also need to run other tests on their different packages to see if this is a common phenomenon or not. Now, based on this test as well, we can safely say Net1 are not stealing your data. If anything, Net1 are giving way more than what customers are paying for. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Net1, nor am I affiliated with Econet in any way. This test was just a response to what consumers have been complaining about. So, did the results surprise you? Now, there are also certain things that we as mobile internet users can do to cut down on uh, data usage. In many popular apps these days, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, there's always a data saving option. Make sure that it's turned on every time you are on uh, mobile internet. If you enjoyed the video, please press that like button and if you have any comment, leave it down below. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.